Hello fellow sim magicians and welcome to episode 2 of Tech Tuesday and in today's video we're going to talk all about ergonomics. Now the word ergonomics might sound very complicated essentially it is something to be implemented into a product design to be more suitable to the human body and therefore make it easier and more comfy to use. And as you can tell, this is especially important in sim racing and it covers all players within the circle as well. Whether you are a rookie who just started out in sim racing or a seasoned alien in sim racing. Regardless of who you are, you would want your sim product to be as comfy and as easy to use as possible. So just to give you a few examples of a ergonomic design being used on a sim racing product, you can take a look at the ones that you're using right now. For example, you can see a grip slot design on various racing steering wheels as the one you can see right here on the GTD. Some of the buttons and the switches on the steering wheel design that you can see, they are more than likely to be closer to where you'll be holding your steering wheel so they are easier to access when you're using them. The seating angle and curbing designs that you find on various seats on the market and to explain why it is so important to have an ergonomic design, I have the P1000's adjustable pedals with me today to demonstrate how much an ergonomic design can impact your racing experience. So the main thing being taken into consideration of an ergonomic design for a pedal is your seating position and that includes a few elements. The angle of your seating position, the angle between your feet and your legs, the height difference between the base of your body and your heels, and most importantly, the contact surface between your feet and the pedal. And all of these elements will have an effect on how comfortable the pedals are going to feel, and most importantly, how effective you will be able to utilize the pedals. For a pedal that is badly set up due to its poor positioning for your feet, you're going to have less contact surface between your feet and the pedals. And that means you're going to have to adjust your feet accordingly to the position of the pedal, creating unwanted tension in your muscles. And that means that you're going to be less effective on utilizing the pedals and generally having less control on your pedals. Conversely, for a pedal that is well set up, the position is more suited to your feet and you're going to have more contact surface between your feet and the pedals. And that means you don't have to compensate for the positioning on the pedals and it's gonna feel more natural to use, in which it's going to create less unwanted tension within your muscles, allowing you to utilize your pedals more effectively. To show you how big of an impact it makes, we intentionally offset the P1000 brake pedals and try to brake. And as you can see, even with maximum force, it only reaches to about 70% max. And then we've done some quick adjustment to adjust it back to its appropriate position. And now it reaches to 80 to even 90% of brake force. And immediately you can see the effects of a properly set up brake pedal position. And to an extent, how ergonomics impacts your sim racing experience. Now you know the importance of a ergonomic design, you can see why such a design is being implemented into a wide variety of sim racing products, especially when it comes to something with as many configurations as a pedal. And with that in mind, next time when you hop into your sim rig, trying to get a good feel for all the positioning again and adjust them to your seating position accordingly, you'll be surprised by just how much of a difference it can make to your sim racing experience. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and follow us on various social media platforms if you haven't already. This is Alvin on Tech Tuesday and I hope to see you on the next one. But until then, keep racing, sim magicians.